Okay, let's see. Here's a little member of the pea family. It, um, see the tendrils right there and the highly devo uh, devout, divided leaves. There's a little bit of uh, glaucus to do it, uh, so it's a little bluish, waxy. Um, member of the pea family. It has typical pea like flowers, banner and keel formation. Some little red veins in there. Um, so it's a perennial, comes back. Uh, uh, Lathyrus, uh, Lucantha, Lucantha, get a burning sort of the, so I think it's, that's uh, the sweet pea genus, uh, so it has a sort of sweet pea characteristics, the flat uh, uh, raceme on the, well, petiole of the, the leaf, that's a, that's a leaf, um, and uh, these large brackets, up at the base of the leaf. There's another species that uh, is around here, but this is um, one of the more common ones. And the, the fact that it's Leuco, Leucantha. Uh, Leuco means white, like leucocyte. Um, the other one's pink. Uh, so that's a little bit easier for identification. But this is in the same habitat. We're on a, a dry hill as the snowberry. And then we have some... Uh, I call it Brunus virginiana, uh, variety malcarpa, certainly dandelions. You can't have enough dandelions on the delphinia. So, very common uh, legumes. Uh, this other legume that uh, fixes nitrogen. Um, so, it actually tends to be more of disturbed habitat. This is quite disturbed. But anyway, a lovely little, uh, I'm going to call it a sweet pea, a wild sweet pea, a white, wild white sweet pea. Um, Lathyrus. Lathyrus japonica, if I recall, is the uh, sweet bee we grow in the gardens. So, but anyway, there you go.